I am greatly concerned about public safety in this situation. 58-year-old Frederick Seymour of Suffield appeared in court, charged in connection to the hit-and-run death of UConn student, 20-year-old Megan Voisin. Suffield police told me that on Friday evening, they were about to sign Frederick Seymour's arrest warrant when he suddenly walked into the police department, provided a statement, giving himself up. According to the state prosecutor, Seymour confessed to the hit and run, but Seymour shook his head. The defendant did turn himself in and he did confess. Uh, that does, however, have a number of failure to appear. Given again that in the seriousness of the allegation, the state thinks $800,000 bond be appropriate. The incident happened on October 23rd here at the intersection of Thrall Avenue and Route 159 in Suffield. Megan was crossing the street with friends and was killed. Megan's obituary reading in part, quote, she had a unique ability to forge special relationships with every person she knew. She brought joy, laughter, and compassion to each of those relationships. The social media page for her Yukon sorority reading that she was, quote, someone who could light up any room with her infectious smile, unforgettable laugh, and endless love. Back in court, we learned Seymour has a lengthy history of past motor vehicle and drug convictions. There is a record in Massachusetts uh, for reckless driving. His public defender said that Seymour, who lives here on Poplar Street in Suffield, has been overwhelmed with family responsibilities. Mr. Seymour indicates to me that he has been helping to take care of his elderly father. In honor of Megan's memory, a fund has been set up in her name here at Suffield Community Aid with money designated to help young people in the community.